So as I said upstairs, uh, the largest chain in the industry, we have a 70,000 pound chain on this side and that side, so 140,000 pounds of pull. The cross members, if you guys want to just come in a little bit here, you can take a look at these cross members. Cross members are bolted to the chain every second, every second link. This is the nylon puck that we talked about. There's three across. Those nylon pucks run on these cross members right here and you don't get that steel to steel startup. The uh, cross members are uh, changeable by simply undoing these bolts on this side, that side. You uh, slide it out of place, pull it, chuck it out, put the new one in, bolt it in, you're ready to go. Others you have to, like I said, uh, loosen up the chain, push that belt down, get some space in there, grind it out, cut it out, uh, take it out, put the new one in, weld it into place, and then readjust your chains and everything else. So this is quick, easy, and fast to do. This bogey system right here, you notice that it's not welded to the uh, superstructure. This structure right here from front to back is called a superstructure. Uh, this is the uh, bogey system for the chassis. We clamp this together for a reason. We clamp it together to give it that torque and uh, uh, that movement. It's just the bolts. It's just the bolts. These bolts and these clamps are holding this thing together right now. And that's all there is. <laughs> Move to the back. Your uh, controls are here for your belt. Uh, they're operated from here and they're also operated from the cab. Uh, this allows you to feather your load to uh, drop as much as you want uh, and then stop uh, and move forward. This allows you to uh, reverse the belt and, and balance your load after you've taken off about 60-70%. You can, you can balance your load again. The mud flaps are, are easy to move out of the way. You simply pick them up, move them out of the way and then you're ready to asphalt to a paver. The belt system right here this is your belt that we're using. Belt is a 30, 39 inch belt from end to end with 36 inches of exposed area. Uh, our competitors have up to, I think the widest is 32. This particular trailer has a aluminum skin on it. Uh, behind the aluminum skin is a uh, water resistant uh, insulation. It's uh, bubble wrap, you might say. Uh, it's put in place uh, for the asphalt to keep the asphalt a little bit warmer. Okay. Uh, optional, you don't have to have that. Some guys like it, some guys don't. Okay, we have a spray tank on these things. This is optional as well. Uh, the tank and the ladder come as a pair, as a set. Uh, you take that, put in your uh, environmentally friendly uh, product that you use to spray your trailer and it's accessible from the entire uh, trailer from this ladder. You got a toolbox in here that uh, you keep all your uh, supplies. I can't show you what's in there because it's locked. Okay, so in order to open up the gate, you act uh, actuate it from the cab or you can actuate it from here. Simply turn the red handle button open and the gate opens. It is a must that you open up the gate before you activate your, uh, your belt or else you'll have product hanging up in the back. We use uh, Rayx 400 rather than the hard ox. The, uh, the body was designed with the Rayx and we kept that design going. Uh, it is a hardened material similar to the hard ox and our, uh, our uh, cord, uh, similar material, uh, and that's what we use on here. The trailer has, to watch that, has a uh, um, seals on the sides here to protect, to stop the product from going behind the belt. Uh, it has a plate that holds this seal on. This is a wearable item that has to be replaced. Uh, the belt is a wearable item that has to be replaced. Like I said, you get maybe, you get, depending on usage, between three to five to seven years on the belt. The belt's rated for asphalt, so you don't have to change it out for asphalt to gravel. Uh, it's temperature rated to minus 20. Uh, but can be operated up to minus 40. Anything after that, we shut her down. You'll see here, this red bar right here, spring loaded. That's the sweeper that cleans the belt off as it's coming, as it's coming back. So anything that's sticking to this thing will get uh, cleaned off and dropped right there. Okay.
The beauty of this thing is we can take this load now and we can push it back or we could keep going. You could drop a pile like this anywhere you want. You could go residential, put a pile of gravel on the ground in front of the guy's driveway and keep going. We use a single hydraulic motor here with a uh, planetary transmission to operate the belt uh, and the chain. So you can move the product back and forward. Start the timing. Stop the timing. Does anybody else want to try? Mike. Just basically that. Basically put her down. properly trained. Look at that finesse. Feather it. The operation of the belt happens right here. You want it to walk away. And check what's happening. We simply, so you simply use that and walk away. That won't feather the load though. You can only feather the load by hand. <laughs> 